So I'm here with Kevin, Kevin Wake, Wake, Kevin Wake um, who built this uh, incredible, well, I'm gonna, being British, I'm gonna ask you what it even is. It's a 1960 International Metro uh, that we completely built everything except for the base of the chassis. Everything is all CNC cut, done on SolidWorks and all that. Tubular A-arms, uh, it's got an engine from a Dodge truck, uh, 12 valve Cummins turbo diesel with a few uh, mods on it. Uh, it lays all the way on the ground, AccuAire air suspension, whole bunch of engraved details, ton of time in there, roll cage. We've had a lot of fun building it, it's really fast. Uh, you guys can check it out and look at all the little details and, and I think you'll like it. Were you asked to build it specifically for Optima? And no, a, a customer it? brought it to me and he had kind of a wild vision that he just wanted a, a top end school bus with a whole bunch of crazy <laughs> details. And most of what we do is uh, low riders, Cadillacs and Paulas, oh, nice, all nice. that stuff. So we kind of use those details and took it over the top, you know? Yeah, but he's just gonna use it for fun. He just wants to enjoy it. And then Optima sponsored us about a week and a half ago. We found out we were gonna be able to come out here. So we finished it so to what you see, you know? That's so good. So you, I, I really like the idea of taking your uh, like low rider-ness yeah. and applying it to a completely different and wrong vehicle as it were. That's such yeah, a good we, we tried to, to mix everything with the patina and, and it, it turned out really good, but so, it's a hot rod too. It's fast, man, it's fun. Did you have like a vision in your head of how it was gonna be? Or as you went through, did you add little bits here? I there? knew what I wanted to do with the suspension. I knew kind of what I wanted the ultimate vision. Obviously all the way on the ground, we knew what motor we were gonna put in it, but I started putting it all on the computer and building the cross members and suspension and it started coming together. You know what, as a matter of fact, the gentleman's walking, hey Dane, come here real quick, we're doing an interview. This man right here, he did a, all of the engraving on this whole thing. Hi, Dan. How you doing? Yeah. Nice to meet That's you. really lovely work. Thank you. Thank you. It's thank a, you. Yeah. So. So how did you guys? Uh, I mean, if you're building low riders, I'm guessing. Yeah, he helped you yeah, with a lot of stuff too. Yeah. yeah. Build a lot of different things. That's superb. Superb. Yeah. Yeah, so if you check out like the steering wheel, the shifter, the valve block, all that stuff's all hand engraved and all done. Oh, it's beautiful. It just work. really, really ties everything together. We'll make sure man. we get that on film. The back seat and everything folds down so you can put your drinks on there and enjoy it and everything. All these lift up so you can put stuff under there, store it. You got some subs in the back. Yeah, four down firing 10 inch subs. These seats are cool. Yeah, have a seat in them, man. They're so comfortable. So these should weather quite nice. Yeah, as well, they right? were just finished on Thursday. A guy in San Diego did them. We had a vision for it, but we didn't know how comfortable they would be, and yeah. we're loving it. Nice. We wanted to be able to see the floor. Oh, you yeah. know, and if you actually look down through here, what you're standing on that gloss, yeah. that's the chassis. How is it? Yeah. The floor that the yellow piece is a separator, so there's a light that goes in there that will illuminate the chassis, but when the body is separated, that's actually a structural member. Wow. So I wanted to accent it. That's why we painted it gloss. It's going to get all wrecked in the paint and whatnot, but it really shows what's going on there, you know? And uh, roll cage. Totally well. unnecessary roll cage, you know? But <laughs> If you're going to put a roll cage in, put a big one in. You know, well. I always tell people, they ask about why all the details. They say, you show me which one you didn't want me to put in here. <laughs> yeah, I'll take yeah. it out. You know what I mean? It's just fun. That's what I'm saying. You just keep like, adding and yeah. then like, it just little bit here and there. Yeah, there's still a few more little things we're going to do to it, but I would say overall we're we're pretty close to done, you know. So the big uh, coming of these always on I mean, it just doesn't come with that. I'm assuming this no, came with no, no, no. Some this thing was beer. super rotten. We pulled it out of the Midwest, and it was gone. We had to build the whole thing ship in a bottle style. The bo uh, chassis all boxed. Uh, all the whole front ends, all solid works and laser cut and everything. But I couldn't take the chassis out to do it, or the body was just going to collapse on itself. <laughs> So we built it in stages and we were actually taking it to car shows for about a year with no floor, yeah. uh, just so people could see all of the work, you know, underneath all those panels are the fuel tank and all that crazy stuff that you see underneath. But it's it's fun, man. It's just as fun to drive as it is to look at. So for cool. sure. So. so cool. Everything about this is... Uh, everywhere you look, you know, yeah. little details, like even the jagged edge follows through the whole thing. And, and you know? it's nice you still got all this, it, it's patina, so you like, yeah. you, you got, you've got the really nice new details on top of really interesting old yeah. details. The nice and easy collision center that you guys will see the logo on the outside, they clear coated this thing three times. So they did all of the clear coat and all the paint work on the floor, 
but they clear coated it twice with a gloss and then sanded it down and did a semi gloss over top. So that's the finish that you guys are seeing on here. Yeah. All of the cracks were filled with fiberglass resin. Ah, so, you so you keep the class. And it, this stuff's not falling off. But <laughs> for a while we were driving it, and every time we go to the show, we're like, where's that piece? You know, where's that piece? You know? <laughs> this piece come now. Yep. That's brilliant. But it's cool, man. So if you look underneath where you're at right now, yep. there's all the crazy air and the camera. Yeah, look at that install. And it's been engraved as well. Absolutely superb. Well, thank you for your time. Huh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good to meet you guys for sure. Get yeah. some more shots. Take it. Happy to see you there. Go on. Thank you. Thanks, man. <laughs> that is probably the best generic question to start out with because I don't even know what I'm doing and I don't even know why.